Kennedy Mays was born with cystic fibrosis. In 2013, her lungs failed due to the disease, and she underwent a double lung transplant. Eight years later, her lungs are failing her again. So is her heart. LEX 18 Sophia Millar shows us how Fleming County is rallying behind the Mays family as Kennedy is put back on the transplant list. Kennedy Mays underwent a double lung transplant when she was a teenager, a key step in her lifelong battle with cystic fibrosis. Eight years later, her fight with the disease continues, and this time the stakes are higher. Kennedy needs new lungs and a new heart. It's a scary journey. We have a long journey coming up. It's not going to be a, a very, it's not going to be an easy one. A heart lung transplant is a rare procedure. It was pretty devastating because I wasn't expecting it. May says the months ahead are scary and uncertain, but she's keeping her chin up. I just keep like on my bad days. I remind myself that better days are coming. Just got to get through my tough ones. The people surrounding her are part of what keeps her going. She's my hero. She's an angel on earth. Julie Gay is always cheering her on, first as her teacher and now as one of the family's lifelong friends. I'm, I'm proud of them and I know, you know, um, she's a fighter. This one's a fighter. Gay and her husband are leading the charge in raising funds to help support the Mays family as Kennedy prepares for another major surgery. She's going to need support and, and we're determined as a community to support her. Several fundraisers are happening at the same time, all connecting back to the Children's Organ Transplant Association. A virtual auction is happening in Fleming County through February 25th. A Facebook fundraiser with a $5,000 goal is also online right now. And to make sure they meet CODA's $30,000 lifetime goal, the family is also selling shirts made and designed by Kennedy Mays. In Fleming County, Sophia Millar, LEX 18 News.